In this video, we're going to come up with the parametric equations for the circle and the ellipse. So let's say you've got a circle of radius 2, of radius 2, and our aim is to somehow get the, um, the parametric equations for the circle. So let's start out with this. I'm expecting you to know this. So, um, so, so if you have a unit circle and the angle is theta, then, uh, then the height here would be given by sine theta and, uh, and the the length here will be given by cos theta. I'm expecting you to know this. But um, if you get a graph plotter and plot this, it will give you this, um, this circle. So the point is that if you punch this into a graphical calculator, it will draw this circle of radius 1, of radius 1. So if you want a radius of 2, then, uh, then stick a 2 in here. Then, then that will then give you a radius of 2. So if, if you have an angle of theta, say, then this height here will be, will be uh, 2 sine t, uh, 2 sine theta. And then this length here will be 2 cos theta. The point here is that you start out with this, it will give you a unit circle. If you want a radius of 2, then stick a 2 in here. So, that, so, so the parametric equations will be x equals 2 cos t, and uh, y will be 2 sine t. So if you get a graphical calculator and punch this in here, it will draw out a circle of radius 2 centered at the origin. Now, if you want, um, if you want an ellipse, if you want an ellipse, uh, then uh, so, so this is our, our ellipse here, 5, 2. Start out with your unit circle. Start out with your unit circle. And then if you, um, if you stick a 5 in front of here, then it's going to move this 1 to somewhere over here, 5. And then, uh, and then if, if you want to move it up by 2, then stick a 2 in front of here, then this will move from 1 to 2. So your, your, your diagram will look something like this. The point is that you start out with your unit circle. If you want, um, if you want this to be a length of 5, then stick a 5 in front of it. If you want it to be a height of 2, then stick a 2 in front of it. That will, that will give you the parametric equations. Okay? And then if you, um, if you have a circle um, translated, um, translated across uh, in the negative direction by 4 and up by 3, um, radius of 2, radius of 2, then uh, start out with your unit circle. So this will then be something like this. Hang on. This will then be something like this. Radius, remember, this is of radius 1. But then we want the radius of 2. So stick a 2 in here, stick a 2 in here. That will then give you this. So now you've got a circle of radius 2. Of radius 2. So, um, so let's, let's just look at this point. Let's say this point here correlates to this. Um, uh, so this is an, an angle, whatever. So this here is, a, is an angle, whatever. So this, um, if, you, if you look at this, this is cos. So if, if, you, have, um, if you have cos... Remember, this, this length here is, well, remember, we are currently here. So this length here is um, 2 cos t. So 2 cos t will be at this location here, right right here. Now, you, if you want to, so we want to, to is, well, we want to somehow get it to this stage here. The point is that, um, remember, this is not drawn to scale. So, um, so hang on, let's start again. This thing here will give us this location here. Will give us this location here. Remember, it's of radius 2, don't forget. So this thing here will give us this location here. And then if, if we want to move it across here, well, if you, um, if you take away 4, that, that will take you from here to here, which corresponds to the, uh, to, to the, uh, to the horizontal distance for this point if you um hang on so so let's start again here we are currently here of radius two so it will look something like this it will look something like this of radius two so let's say this angle here is theta whatever angle let's say it's theta now if, um this bit here will give us the height will give us this height here so it will give us in a way this location here so this thing here will give us this location here, but but we want to move. Hang on, we want to move it from here, the height from here up to here. So we need to add. We need to add three. We need to add three. The point here is that 
if you um, if you if you want to move it across by so so how this thing here will give us a radius of two if you want to move it across if you want to move it across here then uh, then take away four and then because this thing here will give you the location the x location um, of the particle at any given time and then if, if you want to move it across then take away four that will move from here to here uh, and then if, if you want to move it up by um, if you want to move uh, remember two sine two sine t will give you this height if you want to move it up if you want to move it up here then you need to add three you need to add three here so you see by, by doing this by, by taking away four you're moving across by four and then you're you're moving it up by up by three so the, I hope you can follow this badly explained but I hope you can follow this. So if you want um, if you want the parametric equations for for this, it would be given by by uh, this and this. Okay.